Hello everyone. Welcome to my class, System Programming Lab. I'm Professor Jawan Gu, and my email address is jhkoo at skku.edu. Today, um, the first time, I'd like to talk about course introduction. First, let's see the course syllabus. As you know, you can access to icampus.ac.kr. This is Sungyungwan University online lecture system, iCampus. Here, click and log on. OK, you can see the menu on the left side, Home, 문의 게시판, 수업 계획서, and so on. 수업 계획서 in Korean uh, is course syllabus. In this screen, you can see course time, lecture room number, and my contact point. We meet every Thursday evening, 18 to about 22 o'clock. This is very long time. During this time, you can learn the basic concept of system programming and practice several program skills. And check out the lab room number. Let's see the course syllabus. You can download it by double clicking like this. Okay, let's see the course description first. Let's read this sentence together. This is supplementary lab course for the system programming. Write this. Okay. Uh, this course covers programming related hand of experience for Unix and Linux systems and development kernel modules using these tools. Topics include file input-output, process management, thread link, and memory management, and so on. You had better get the basic concept and operating systems uh, such as Windows or Mac or Linux and so on and the basic C programming languages. Next, grading. I will focus on three parts, attendance, self-study, and homework and project. Attendance 30%, self-study 30%, homework and project 40%. We have well known two textbooks, uh, Linux System Programming 2nd Edition, by, written by Robert Love, and Linux Programming Interface, uh, by, written by Michael Karras. This is a very uh, well known and very popular uh, textbook. Uh, let's see the timetable. On uh, week 1, we have got started the course introduction and fundamental concept of computer and computer architecture, what is system, uh, what is system programming, and so on. Week 2, we will learn system programming concept, including a Linux kernel, C library, and C compiler. Week 3 to 4, we will learn file, file input-output related operations, like reading and writing files. And week 5 to 6, we will learn buffered I.O. and advanced file input output. As you can guess, it, it is very important to know the concept of file and file input and output on computer systems. It's very, very important. Week 7 to 8, we will learn process management, 
you can get the what is process how can I manage the process on the system computer and then week 9 we will learn the type of process such as batch process and real-time process week 10 we will learn the concept of thread you can get the what is thread there are two types of thread single thread and multi thread the topic of multi threaded programming is included week 11 file and directory management week 12 a memory management such as the interface for allocating memory and optimizing memory access week, <coughs> week 13 signal we will learn basic signal and advanced signal interface and the signal's role on the computer system. And the last time is time and clock management. There are so many time and clock, including POSIX clocks and high resolution timers. Uh, we will learn the, the times. Okay, uh, let's move on to today's topic, Introduction and Essential Concept. What is computer systems? Everybody knows computer systems. There are so many components in the computer systems. As you can see from the left side, printer, speaker, headset, monitor webcam, keyboard, mouse, base unit called the desktop, optical disk drive, USB flash drive, scanner, and so on. So many components. Everybody knows computer system component. As you can see, uh, we can classify the component in several parts. Red one, yellow one, blue one, purple one, and green one. Red one, such as monitor, speaker, printer, is output device. Yellow one, such as headset, is input and output device. Blue one, uh, such as webcam, keyboard, mouse, is input device. Purple one, such as processing base unit is processing device. Green one, such as optical disk drive and USB flash memory is storage device. Today's computer has so many devices. You can call the devices as the computer hardware. Computer hardware. The computer devices are divided into four parts. Input, processing, storage, and output devices. Input, processing, storage, and output devices. Which one is going to input devices? Which one is processing in the processing devices? Which one is stored in the storage device? Which one is going to the output devices? What is which one? As you can guess, the answer is data. So the computer system is machine or devices for the data. For the data. That is to say, it is data-oriented systems. Data can be a program. Data can be a file. Data can be a process. Data can be a software. So, computer systems consist of hardware and software. A computer system is defined as the combination of component, hardware, and software. Who use the computer system? The computer system is for you. So a computer system requires hardware, software, and user. 
What is software? What kind of software are there? Software can be divided into application software and system software. Application software is normally high-level graphical user interface applications. For example, word processor, spreadsheet, web browsers, computer games. System software is normally low-level software, such as shell, text editor, compiler, debugger, core utility, system demos, network server, web server, database, and so on. As you can see, a user is at the highest level, and then application software is at the lower level, and then system software is at the lower level, and then the hardware is at the lowest level. System software is connected between application software and hardware. A user requests something to the application software, and then application software takes this and requests something to the system software, and then system software takes this and requests something to the hardware, something like this. The hardware responds something to the system software, and then system software takes this and responds something to the application software, and then application software takes this and responds something to the user, like this. Programming an application software is to make an application level programming. Programming a system software is to make a system level programming. Do you know what kind of system level program are there? The interpreters, for example, JavaScript interpreter, Python interpreter, the examples. How about compiler? For example, Java compiler and C compiler and C++ compiler. These are all system level programs. How about Kernel development. Kernel is similar to the operating systems. Operating system development is included in the field of system level programming. How about device driver? Device driver is also included in the system level programming. Therefore, uh, there are so many system level programming in the computer world and well-trained system programmer is needed. In this course, I will focus on the system level programming and educate for the system programmer. This is a big picture for developing a system level software. You will learn uh, several building blocks in this picture. You will learn GNU-C library and system core interface and so on. That is to say, after the course completion, you can get the various system level programming skills, such as file management, process management, memory management, by using C library and system core interface. This is another picture for the inside Linux kernel for the inside Linux kernels. As you can see, uh, in the Linux kernel, there are three uh, subsystems. There are three subsystems. File I.O. subsystem, memory management subsystem, process management subsystem. I.O. memory process. I.O. memory process. Okay? You will learn this subsystem component one by one, step by step. Okay? There is a more detailed picture on describing the user application level, a low-level system component, C standard library, 
and Linux kernel and hardware from application level to hardware from user to hardware from high level to low level okay okay good thank you